Are you wondering if you should be using Excel for projects? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you pros and cons of Excel and project management. And if you stick to the end, I'm going to give you my own personal take on Excel. Before we jump into the pros and cons of Excel, let's first talk about what in what context are we looking at from a perspective of using Excel in projects. And that's the action plan. I think there's a lot of debate out there in regards to should I use Excel for an action plan or should I use a software for an action plan? And that is where this video is going to help you out by giving you some pros and cons. Pro, familiarity. Okay, everybody knows Excel. We all have it. That's one of the tools that we're using outside of a project as well. And so the big pro here is that everybody knows how to use it. Usually when you're looking at other types of software, you gotta teach people how to use it, which just adds another level of complexity. And for a project, the less teaching you can do on how to do basic tasks, then the easier it is for everyone to really focus on what they need to do. Before we dive into the rest of the tips, I just wanna give you a heads up. I have a free webinar that is just gonna give you all the necessary things you need to know to start off your project right. And how can you get it? Well, there's a link under this video that you can go check out. Con, dependency on the proficiency of the PM. Okay, Excel is technical and it really is important. If you're gonna get the true benefits out of Excel, you need to have some technical knowledge on how to use it. You need to understand how to do formulas, conditional formatting, how to filter. Not only that, there's actually some programming you can do in Excel, which becomes really cool. But if you don't know any of that stuff, then it just becomes a very manual labor spreadsheet that you're gonna hate. And that's why a lot of people go to software. But that in itself has its own cons, but we're focusing on Excel right now. So what I can say for sure is it's important that you know how to use it. And what's really cool too is for those of you who don't want to go to a software or who don't maybe have the funds to go to a software, I actually have an Excel spreadsheet in my course, Slay Project Management, that has all the conditional formatting and formulas you need. It's just a plug and play. Pro, affordability and access. Projects have budgets, but a lot of projects don't have budgets to buy software for everybody. And so this whole access and affordability becomes really important because if you want your team to be accountable, they need to have access to the action plan and they need to update their action plan. They need to take ownership of it. And if you don't have everyone belonging to or having licenses for the software that you're using, then you're creating a big issue for yourself that you now have to chase everyone in order to get status updates, which is the last thing you wanna do. So from a standpoint of using Excel, that's the flip side. Everyone has Excel. It's part of the office suite programming that most organizations use. So there's no budget constraints. And as a result, there is access. Everyone can access it. So everyone now does not have an excuse that they can't be accountable to do their tasks. That's a huge pro. Before we get into the rest of the tips, not only do I have this free content here on YouTube, I have this. For a deep dive into the essentials of running successful projects, I'd love for you to join one of my Slay programs. Slay Project Management is an online course with step-by-step -step videos, tools, and templates for the full project life cycle. Or go pro with Slay Pro. Everything in Slay plus weekly group coaching calls with me so you can tackle your real world scenarios and issues to get on the right track. Ready to level up? Check out the details below. Con, potential for version control issues. All right. Great, everyone has accessibility, yay, but you know what happens? Now you can have potential version control issues because people have it on their desktop or on their laptop, and now they're updating things on their particular hard drive and it may not get updated for everybody else. So there is version control issues. Now, the way you solve this is you put it up on a cloud, a project SharePoint site that everyone's gonna access so that you can control the version issues. But you have to be very, very careful and have very strict rules around updating. Because again, you can update the Excel anywhere, anytime, and you have to make sure you have that right version. Pro, customization. Oh. This is huge in Excel and it's huge for projects because I'm a big believer. Every project that I work on, yes, I have a standard framework and standard documentation that I'm gonna be using and things that I need, but I really like when it comes to my action plans, I like to customize them whenever I can because there may be certain things that I want to pull out, add. And with my action plan, it is the central document that everyone's gonna be going to, particularly when we start executing the project. So if I need to add some tabs and I need to add some different pieces of information so it's all in this one document, 
I can do that. You can do that. It is just the customization aspect of it is so huge and it's just going to ensure that every project, which all have slight nuances to it, their needs are going to be met. You're not going to necessarily get this from a software because the software is off the shelf and you're going to have to use what it is that that software developed in their way, which may not exactly sync and jive with what you need to have done from an action plan perspective. Con, building visual dashboards from scratch. That's one of the things with Excel is on its own, yes, you can do bar charts and things of that nature, but it's not gonna give you the visual dashboard that for some projects you, you do need. Now you have the ability to integrate into Power BI, which is really cool, which is you know kind of like a, it's a pro, but you have to be very thoughtful with how you set up your spreadsheets, if that's the case. So this is where the technical knowledge and everything else that I was saying from pros and cons perspective comes into play here. So dashboards, if they're really important to you, then you really need to contemplate integrating it with another tool like Power BI and really being thoughtful with how you set it up. Pro integration with other tools. Yes, you can integrate Excel with a SharePoint site, with Teams, with Power BI that I said earlier on, with a whole bunch of other tools and apps that are out there. So it becomes very powerful and helpful. You just have to recognize what it is that you want it to do and be specific with how, again, you set it up. So that integration just opens up the doors into how as to how you want to be sharing that information. So definitely a, a pro. My personal opinion on Excel for project management. Well, you probably guessed by now that I like Excel. I think Excel is a fantastic tool. Sometimes people tell me, oh my goodness, you're using Excel. That's so old fashioned. I went, whoa, it is not old fashioned. That tool, Excel, is still useful to this day and will continue to be useful because it's such a powerful tool that has so many variables associated with it that really allows to give me what I need as a project manager quickly without having a learning curve or anything of that nature and really bring my team together with accountability. I do try other software products out there, absolutely, but still nothing gives me what I need like Excel does. I use Excel not just for monitoring in my action plans, but I use it for people giving me updates by adding you know, specific sections to the document. So I now have this one-stop shop to have all my information in one document that not only myself, but my team can access as well. It really is just a very powerful tool depending on how you set it up. So again, I really like it and I think it's something that will still continue to be around. Don't forget to save your seat on my free training. It is just gonna help you and it's free. How do you get it? The link is underneath this video. Watch this video next for more project management tips. If you found this video to be of value, please give it a thumbs up. If you have a comment, let us know and consider subscribing to this community and this channel. Till the next time.